Hello everyone, welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct an octagon using uh, your protractor. So if an octagon, it has eight sides, so you're going to be having something like this. So this is a freehand sketch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how do you, so how do you go ahead achieving that using just your protractor so there's another option where you might be asked to use your set square but i'll be talking more about that at the end of this video so now to start with i'm going to be drawing the line uh, a line for the base you are going to be using so i'm going to be using a side of uh, for five centimeter so on this line i'll mark out my uh, five centimeter so that will be five centimeter is same as as 50 millimeter So this is point A and let me call this point B. So from point B now, I'll place my protractor. So make sure the protractor is properly placed. So make sure the point on point B is also at this at this point of your protractor at the center here. So so now I'll measure 45, 45 degrees. So the 45 degrees I've just mentioned, I've just, I mean, that point. So I'll join it to point B. So that gives me that line. So on that line, let me just uh, measure the 5 centimeter. So depending on the length that you are using, it's the same method the same method so that's my five centimeter so what we did on point b we come to point a we place our protractor on point a and then we measure 45 degrees so this time around it to be in this direction to be in the 45 degree in this direction So now join this point A to this point. So on this line now, <coughs> let me measure my five centimeter. So that will be this. Let me call this point D. So what I'll do is I'll draw a straight line through points C and point D. So the line will be a faint line. So, the, so you might not be seeing it clearly. So let me start. So now I'm back to point C. So from point C, I place my protractor on point C. And this time around, I'm going to measure 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. So I'll draw a line from this point C straight up to where we have the 90 degree. So I've drawn the straight line. Now let me measure 5 centimeter. So on point C now we have 90 degrees up. So the 90 degrees is to this uh, faint line that we draw across. So 90 degrees. So we'll come to point D. So you place your protractor, so you note the 90 degrees. So you measure 5 centimeter, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to pass through that point or that 90 degrees. So let me call this point D. Okay, we have D, point E. Point E, and let me call this point F. So I'll draw another straight line across points E and point F. So make sure the line is faint. 
So now we bring back our protractor again. So I'll place it on point E. I'm on point E now. Now 45 degrees. 45 degrees in this direction. So I'll join points E with the points with just with that 90 degree point. So on the line, we measure the 5 centimeter that we are using. So don't forget the principle is the same irrespective of the length uh, of the sides that you are using. So I'll come to point F. Measure 45 degrees. So to make sure you get an accurate result, so make sure your protractor is properly placed on the points and on the line so, so that you can get a correct result. So right here I already have my 5 centimeter that's passed through from point F to the point where we have 90 degrees and then I measure it to 5 centimeter. So at this point now if you should measure these two points, it should give us 5 centimeter. So if you look at it now we are having our 5 centimeter, the last side. So we can easily join it together. So you can call this point point G and point H. So let me also make this board. So now we've been able to construct an octagon using our protractor. So this is how you go about to draw it. So take note of the angles. So right here we have 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So right here we use 90. So right here is 90. And then right here we have 45 degrees and 45 degrees. So with this now, I believe you'll be able to go ahead and uh, construct your own octagon using your protractor. So if you have any question or any comments concerning this, kindly leave them in the description of this video. And if you want to also know how to construct an octagon using your set square, um, there's a link in the description of this video that will ex show you. Um, there's a link to a video that will show you how to go ahead to also construct an octagon using your set square. So thank you very much. If you're also yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.